This story is going to stay with you the whole week. You know the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. But for one Bay Area family, it's essential. Their four-year-old son, CJ, short for Christopher Jr., is battling a rare medical condition. Our Darren Feely was there as CJ's village came together today to give him a very special Christmas celebration. You wouldn't know it by looking at him, not with that smile that just lights up his little face. But four-year-old CJ has spent more time in and out of the hospital than most of us, if we're lucky, will in a lifetime. A lot of tearful nights, a lot of hospital tearful nights. CJ's mom, Brooklyn, says he first got sick as an infant. By four months, they knew something was seriously wrong, but didn't have a diagnosis or a name for it yet. Doctors eventually broke the news that CJ had a rare genetic disorder known as Barter Syndrome, which affects the kidneys and in turn leaves him vulnerable to extreme dehydration and a host of other ailments. You're like hit with a ton of bricks on your chest and it's not at all what you're expecting as a first time parent. When we visited recently with CJ and his family, he was having an exceptionally good day, full of energy and eager to show off his dance moves with no apparent complications from his condition. But Barter Syndrome is a chronic lifelong condition that requires constant vigilance and can put enormous strain on even the most loving, dedicated family. It's hard for moms to ask for help. It does, it feels, uh, it feels like you're a bad mom, you're a failure. We have to keep our families healthy so that they can take care of themselves and the other hours of the day that they're with their child. CJ's family gets help four days a week from an in-home nurse and from their village, family and friends, co-workers and neighbors, and even good Samaritans like Dr. Kamachi Zeingler. So I cannot wait to, to be able to meet these kiddos. Dr. Zeingler is a plastic surgeon and today one of Santa's helpers. Her practice is supporting the nonprofit Coastal Kids Home Care and their Winter Wishes program. They've adopted CJ and his family. They brought toys for CJ and his little sister Fiona and gifts for his parents too. I think being a mom and a physician provides an exponential amount of uh, understanding and feeling of, you know, when there's a child that has a need and when there's a medical one and it's so significant, it really pulls at your heartstrings. Any parent who's ever had a sick child, even for a day, knows the nonstop worry that CJ's parents live with. But just spend a little time with him and you learn there's also room for abundant joy and deep appreciation this holiday season for the kindness of strangers. You got to take the high when the highs are there and remember them when the lows come that, you know, we'll get out of this and he'll be that happy, spunky kid that he always is when he's good. That smile will just melt your heart. Well, it didn't really look like it today, but CJ's health can be pretty fragile. He just got out of the hospital a few weeks ago from a simple stomach bug, something that most kids would recover from after just a few days. But there's no cure. CJ's parents say in the long run, he's going to have to learn to manage his condition.